Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if everything up there really belongs? Today we're diving into a list of real space objects that should not be orbiting Earth. From decades old relics of the space race to hazardous debris from collision events, we're about to explore some of the strangest, most unexpected items floating above our heads. Get ready for a wild ride through history, technology, and even a touch of cosmic mystery. Did you know that one of the very first satellites is still cruising through space? Launched in 1958 as part of America's early space efforts, Vanguard 1 was never meant to be a permanent resident of our orbital backyard. This tiny 6 pound sphere was designed to test new technology and gather basic data, but its mission ended long ago. Despite being non-operational, Vanguard 1 remains in orbit because its high altitude trajectory and compact design have allowed it to evade significant atmospheric drag. Today, it's a floating time capsule from the dawn of space exploration, a relic that wasn't deorbited when newer satellites took center stage. The fact that this historical artifact continues to circle Earth is a reminder that sometimes space just doesn't clean up after itself. It is a fascinating blend of human ingenuity and the unintended legacy of our ambitious beginnings. Ever wondered what happens when you blow up a satellite in space? Me neither. In 2007, China conducted an anti-satellite test that shattered its weather satellite Fangun 1C into thousands of dangerous pieces. These fragments, now scattered like cosmic confetti, orbit Earth as rogue bullets speeding through the void. Each tiny shard poses a serious threat to operational satellites and even the International Space Station. What makes this event particularly chilling is not just the sheer volume of debris, it's the unpredictability of where these fragments will drift next. This incident is one of the most dramatic reminders that our orbital environment is not only cluttered, but also volatile. While the test was meant to showcase technological might, the unintended consequence is a persistent debris cloud that could one day spark a chain reaction of collisions, imperiling the future of space travel. Imagine two fully operational satellites suddenly colliding in the vastness of space. What would happen next? In 2009, a rogue encounter occurred when the operational Iridium-33 communications satellite and the defunct Russian satellite Cosmos 2251 smashed into each other. This accidental collision created a cloud of debris that now endlessly circles Earth. With hundreds of fragments dispersing unpredictably, this event serves as a warning. Even well-planned orbits aren't immune to chaos. The collision not only added to the growing problem of space junk, but also illustrated the delicate balance of orbital mechanics. Every speck of debris increases the odds of further collisions, a phenomenon known as the Kessler syndrome. The Iridium Cosmos event is a vivid example of how a single incident can transform the safety of space into a hazardous minefield, forcing engineers and policymakers to rethink how we manage our celestial backyard. Have you ever wondered what happens to rocket stages after they've done their job? Every time a rocket blasts off, its upper stages separate and, more often than not, are left to wander aimlessly in space. These spent rocket bodies from everything, ranging from early delta launches to modern boosters, were never designed to become permanent fixtures in Earth's orbit. Yet, once discarded, they often remain there, silently orbiting at high speeds and posing collision risks to active satellites. Many of these defunct pieces are large enough to be tracked by ground-based sensors, and their unpredictable tumbling can lead to unforeseen close encounters with operational spacecraft. They're like cosmic cast-offs, a legacy of our relentless drive to explore space without a full plan for cleanup. This forgotten hardware underscores an important lesson. While our rockets propel us to new frontiers, the the debris they leave behind can haunt us for decades. Have you ever imagined a tiny asteroid becoming an impromptu satellite? Every once in a while, Earth's gravity plays host to a temporary visitor, a small asteroid that gets captured into orbit for a brief cosmic pit stop. One such object, known as 2016 RH120, floated around Earth for about a year before escaping back into the heliocentric orbit. These mini-moons are not like the moon 
raccoon that we all know and love, they're typically only a few meters across and are captured only for short periods. Despite their fleeting appearances, they offer scientists a unique chance to study near-Earth objects up close without sending an expensive mission. Their erratic orbits and temporary nature make them one of space's most unpredictable phenomena. It's almost as if Earth, in a moment of gravitational whimsy, decides to borrow a piece of the solar system, only to give it back when it's done playing host. That's like the cutest description of space I've ever heard. Everything else terrifying. Can you imagine an entire satellite being blown to bits, leaving behind a cosmic cloud of debris? In November 2021, a dramatic anti-satellite test by Russia targeted the defunct early warning satellite Cosmos 1408. The deliberate destruction of this satellite turned it into a sprawling field of fragments, each one a high-speed hazard orbiting our planet. What makes Cosmos 1408 story so compelling is the deliberate nature of its demise, a test intended to prove military might that ended up adding thousands of debris pieces to an already crowded orbital environment. The resulting debris not only endangers other satellites, but also complicates future space missions. This incident is an example of how modern technology can backfire, leaving behind a legacy of hazardous shrapnel that serves as a constant reminder of the risks inherent in militarizing space. Would you be comfortable knowing that a nuclear reactor is still drifting around Earth? I'm not. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union launched a series of radar ocean recon satellites known as RORSATs, many of which were powered by onboard nuclear reactors. Although designed with strict safety measures, some of these satellites became derelict over time, leaving behind a potentially dangerous legacy. The reactors were intended to be safely deorbited under controlled conditions, but budgetary constraints and technical challenges sometimes meant that these nuclear Clear-powered satellites lingered in orbit far beyond their intended lifespans. While most have long since decayed or re-entered the atmosphere, the very idea that a nuclear reactor could someday re-enter unpredictably raises alarm bells. These Rorsat relics are not only historical artifacts of a tense era, but also serve as a reminder of the environmental and safety challenges posed by nuclear technology in space. Ever wonder what becomes of a satellite when its job is done? High above us in geostationary orbit lie dozens of dead communication satellites silent, unmoving, and completely out of service. These satellites, many launched in the 1970s and 1980s, were built to last only so long before being replaced by newer technology. However, once their missions ended, there was often no plan to safely remove them from the orbit. Now they drift like ghostly relics, occupying coveted orbital slots and sometimes interfering with newer operational satellites. Beyond the obvious hazards of collision and interference, these relics clutter an already scarce resource geostationary space. They're a testament to the rapid pace of technological progress and a cautionary tale about the long-term costs of leaving our outdated hardware behind. Every silent satellite floating in this belt is a reminder that progress sometimes comes with a price tag. In this case, the price of a crowded sky. Have you ever thought about the possibility of a lost tool floating in space? Astronauts on spacewalks sometimes lose small items a wrench, a glove, even a stray camera that become inadvertent souvenirs of their missions. These objects, often just a few inches across, drift silently around Earth completely detached from human oversight. While they may seem insignificant compared to whole satellites, these tiny items underscore the chaotic nature of space operations. Once free from the confines of a spacecraft, even a small tool can become a permanent resident of orbit. Its fate sealed by the the laws of physics. The idea that a simple everyday object could outlive the manned missions that dropped it into orbit is both whimsical and a little bit eerie. It's a quirky reminder that in the vast emptiness of space, nothing ever truly disappears. It just finds a new home floating among the stars. Have you ever received a radio transmission from a satellite that's supposed to be dead? Believe it or not, some defunct satellites, often dubbed zombie satellites, occasionally 
spring back to life by transmitting stray signals. Although they're no longer under active control, their onboard systems can sometimes malfunction in ways that make them emit mysterious beeps or bursts of data. These phantom transmissions can interfere with communication networks and even confuse ground operators who wonder if a long forgotten spacecraft has somehow reawakened. One of the strangest aspects of these zombie satellites is that despite being technologically outdated and functionally useless, they persist as eerie echoes of past missions. Their unexpected signals are like ghostly whispers from the space age, a reminder that once you send something into orbit, it might just keep sending messages long after its purpose has been served. All right guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livy Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye.